This is a quick video tutorial of how to change your oil and filter in your oil head BMW. You have some options regarding oil filters. Personally in the shop I use the high flow filter. It's less than half the money of BMW's filter. It's the high flow comes wrapped in plastic the BMW does not. I've had many cases when I was using BMW filters where the filter arrived dented or rusty even on the bottom side of the filter like here. It's the last place you want rust to be on your freaking oil filter. Uh, make sure you get a crush washer. The BMW number ends with 252. That is a BMW washer. This is the crush seal that I use. You can see there's a considerable difference in size and thickness. I source these from Worth, which is a vendor. Most people don't have that option. You're going to be stuck using the BMW filter. So anyway, let us get started. You will need an 8 millimeter Allen socket or an Allen key and you will need an oil filter wrench. You do not have to buy the expensive BMW one. You can source them elsewhere. Imperial Filters makes them and I believe the part number is IF7614. Anybody that deals with parts unlimited should be able to get that for you. Uh, I think they're nine dollars or something. It's again less than half the money of these because BMW is <coughs> greedy. Let us begin. You do not need to remove the engine spoiler. You should remove the oil filter first. By removing the oil filter first, you will have less mess to deal with. Our fill cap is still installed and our drain plug is in place. You'll see how little oil comes out. You need to make damn sure that this rubber gasket on the oil filter is still attached to the oil filter and not stuck up on the block. If this is stuck on the block, it will sometimes allow you to screw your new oil filter on barely. You might even be able to get it torqued. However, as soon as you get down the road, it's going to start puking oil everywhere. You do not want that. Our next step, take a paper towel, get up here and wipe this way in that cavity so you're getting all that oil out of there. Failure to do so results in this cavity being built up with crud and also allows oil to leak out, dripping on the ground, making the customer think you didn't do your freaking job right or didn't torque the drain plug properly. So do it right, clean that cavity out. Now we're going to move over to the other side and remove our drain plug. Actually for the sake of this video, we'll do it from this side. The drain plug is located here. Just give it a smack. You want to keep upward pressure on the base of this socket. The finger, whatever you need to do to turn it. You're going to continue turning until you feel the thread skipping. That means it's unscrewed. You can now merely turn that 90 degrees. No oily mess on your hands. You can ding the old crush washer off of there. Clean off the drain plug, brake clean, or even just a paper towel, whatever works for you. And we'll let that drain. We are also going to open our fill plug now on the left valve cover. While our oil is still draining, we have our new filter that is marked the weight of the oil, the mileage of the bike, the date, who changed it, your kids names or whatever else you want to put on there for freaking information. Get a little bit of used oil 
and put it around the seal of the new oil filter. Used oil, not new. If you use new oil, that will frequently bond this seal to the crankcase. You now fit it into your filter wrench. And up we go and we'll screw it in. Screw it in until it stops by hand, mind you. Now you get your torque wrench and you set your torque wrench to 11 Newton meters. No more, no less. Demonstration purposes, I will grab an extension. I'll show you how little this actually turns. So let's get an extension and let me draw a line up the side of this. Hopefully you can see the line in the video. There's a quarter turn. There's a half turn. Just about one full turn from screwed in by hand to the point where it's torqued properly. Now we take our new crush washer, we put that on the drain plug. We are going to wipe some of that up. Thread this into place. We now set our torque wrench to 20 Newton meters. No more, no less. Now we see from here, that's where it stopped. I don't even get one tenth of a turn before that drain plug is tight. Don't over tighten either the filter or the drain plug. Now we're ready to add oil. We are now ready to add our oil. 3.75 liters. Four quarts. The oil that I use is Spectro 4, non synthetic. I do not recommend synthetic engine oil in these engines. I only had two oil heads in here with severe oil leaks, and both of them had lived on synthetic oil for a long time. One of them was fortunate enough to go back to regular oil and the leaks ceased. The other one required seals. Spectro 4 is the original formula oil, originally formulated for BMW in the 80s. It has a very high zinc and copper content, zinc and copper being used for anti wear additives. You can do some research on that, and you'll find even an oil test where Spectro was involved. Spectral 4 ranks the highest in that aspect. It is no longer available from BMW. You must buy from a Spectro dealer or any motorcycle shop. Most of the motorcycle shops in the East Coast will have Spectro. Anyway, irregardless of what you use for oil, that's how you change it. You want to look at your oil sight window down in here. Here. Make sure it's not going to get an accurate reading right now. Make sure your oil sight window is not leaking. Make sure there's no oil crud mist built up around it. Those windows do blow out. When they blow out, it dumps oil all over the exhaust. It will catch on fire often. Um, not a good deal. So if you see it leaking, change it. There's plenty of videos on YouTube regarding that. If you can't find it, let me know. So we have our 3.75 liters, four quarts, in our engine. We are not going to get an accurate reading until you run this bike up to temperature. You're going to need at least two to three bars on your oil temperature gauge if you have the rider information display on your bike. <coughs> then shut it down and then you can get an accurate reading. But if you put four quarts in it, you're all set. So that is how easy it is to change the oil in these bikes. 
we'll put our schlock back in his back in his home and uh, dispose of your oil properly please recycle it many shops burn waste oil especially up here on the northeast um, if you have no place to put your oil check around if you know, know of a local car shop or whoever that uses waste oil they might really appreciate getting some free oil once in a while so that's all I hope this was educational for you and as always ride far ride often thanks